Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and I'm a graduate student at Columbia. Welcome to the NSDC Data Science Flashcard video series. The series will break down data science topics into simple terms that you can leverage throughout your data science journey. And today we will be finishing up with the linear regression session. So we have covered most of the theory part of the linear regression. We know how it works and we know why we're using it. But how do we implement them in practice? Well, we will have a separate videos to cover implement the linear regression in Python. But we'll briefly talk about it here. In general, we want to perform firstly some preprocessing steps, including the data scale, um, scaling and data cleaning, etc. Those steps are very important to ensure that our data are in a clean format. And we also want to perform some assumption checking. That could help us to ensure that our linear regression is the proper model and can perform appropriately. After we have the clean version of the data, we will fit the model. And once we have the fit model, we can perform some in data uh, model interpretation and also evaluate the model with the matrices. So how do we interpret a model? Well, the coefficients in the linear regression represents the effect of the predictors on the dependent variable or the target variable Y. Positive coefficients indicate a positive relationship and the negative coefficients indicate a negative relationships. In order to make a prediction on the fitted model, we just plug in the value of each predictors and also the coefficients. And the impact of the predictors is quantified by their coefficients. Linear regression can have a lot of variations and there's a specialized linear regression models, including the rich regression, loss regression, and elastic neck regression. Those models are specialized because they introduced regularization to prevent overfitting and handle multicollinearity. And we want to use those models or use those instances of linear regressions when we're dealing with the high dimension data or collinearity is an issue. So this is the end of the linear regression section. And I welcome you to follow along with the rest of the NSDC data science flashcard video series to learn more about data science pipeline, data science ethics, and additional topics. I will see you in the next one.